Okay, this is OP3, the attack on Earth. Uh, I've got uh, Kronos 1 with Photon Torpedoes, Martok, Incha, Alexander and Drex on the flagship uh, Kronos 1. And I've got uh, the Corega with um, Photon Torpedoes, Advanced Weapons System, Kolok, Incha, and Nagarin. And i got United Force and Strike Force. And there's the planet. And, and I'm up against the Galaxy, or it's Enterprise D with Picard and Gabe. Age, Animator Minds, Montgomery Scott, Pavel Chekhov, Jace, Jan, Janice Ran, that's it. And he's got Strike Force, United Force. And then he's also got a. Uh, the cut on the corner now. Yep. Uh, with uh, capture intelligence and dorsal weapons array and Bocha and don't even know what that is. Any proton scan. Any proton scan. What's the last character? Oh, that's Enterprise. Scan. Cool. Anyway, attack on Earth. Uh, let's see how it goes here. OP4. Okay, so turn one, my ships has moved forward one and we fired on uh, Earth and I've got two uh, tokens. He just moved forward. Um, I'm guessing he's going to shoot forward because he's got like engaged and everything else so um, yeah it's wow pretty powerful but uh, there's where we're at I got hit earth twice and that's where we're at. Yeah, okay so this was uh, turn two I think it was um, I did hard turns to the left and then sensor echoed uh, he moved up with engage there he rolled seven dice because he had Montgomery Scott and he had the Coronac helping him and stuff like this seven dice and he got like uh, four hits and three crits I was able to uh, uh, roll a bunch of evades and uh, only took the two crits which were a warp core breach of course and a console fire which I'll have to put out uh, and I wasn't able to fire back and uh, yeah it's just not looking good already that was just brutal just amazing uh, yeah but Montgomery Scott is just phenomenal anyway that's where we're at. Okay here's the next turn um, my ships just moved off I didn't stop the warp core although I could have but that would reduce me to one uh, movement so I'm probably going to blow up here suddenly one of these times, but uh, I don't want to uh, reduce myself to one movement, and that's where we're at. That's okay, you can say that. Uh, so my ship's kind of moved, and I put out that warp core breach, so now my Corega is really slow, but uh, that's what I did, because I couldn't just keep um, rolling and being afraid I'd blow up. So he's chasing me around the planet, and he's going to catch me now for sure, because the Corega is... Uh, yeah, hurt pretty bad. Anyway, that's where we're at. Okay, I shouldn't have done the uh, taken off the warp core breach because now my uh, bird of prey can't turn around and it's going to go right off the board as you can see. Uh, at the start of the next turn, there's, I can only do one maneuvers and uh, yeah, he's going right off the board. Uh, and now I just got the uh, Katinga up against two ships and it's looking really bad. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's brutal. Very brutal. So yeah, I, I played this completely wrong because now it's just me getting chased by big ships and they're hitting me hard. Especially with the engaging, he keeps just chasing me. And uh, yeah, this is not well planned on my part. I thought I could target lock and fire behind at the, um, what do you call that, uh, Earth headquarters, but I can't do that apparently. So that kind of changed my strategy quite a bit. And then getting that warp core breach, I think every time I get uh, a critical on me, I always get a warp core breach. I'll have to check my videos, but I'm pretty sure it's guaranteed I, every time I get a warp core breach. It's like I get like 18 warp core breaches in there. Anyway, that's where we're at. I just took three hits. Um, so my ship's almost dead. I've only got two hull left. And uh, yeah, he's untouched. Okay, so my ship died right here near the minefield, which was in place or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I, he had, was it five or six dice to roll? And he got four, six dice. And he got four hits and a crit or something like that. And I had seven dice, no, six dice to evade with, with a re-roll. And I just kept rolling blanks. Uh, I just cannot roll to save my life. Yeah, I died, I think, only by one, uh, by the exact amount. But uh, yeah, the dice were not with me here. Strategy was excellent. Uh, I don't think there's any much, much more I could do.
That was brutal. Anyway, the only ten, I got 10 points. I got 10 points for the attacking Earth, and he's got 110 points for killing us. 120. Oh, you got 120. Very nice. Sir. Well, well played. I don't think you took a single hit. Nope. Yeah, that was brutal. Good game. Okay, here's my second game for the OP4 event. Uh, once again, my Karega with uh, advanced weapon system, photon torpedoes, Koloth, Incha, and Nagarin. And my Kronos 1 with um, photon torpedoes, Murtok, uh, Incha, Drex, and Alexander. And I'm up against the Enterprise and two other Galaxy class with Pharrell and uh, Cisco and Picard piloting. And two of them have yeah, anti really or really do all three of them have anti matter mines? Oh, so or just, just two of them? Just two. Yeah, okay. Wait, what is Very cool. What's the other upgrade over there? Uh, uh, Adam Order and Elite uh, Tacti. That's worth my gas. Oh, Faint. That's what yeah, it is. Faint. Okay. Very cool. What does Faint do? Uh, oh, well, yeah, no kidding. Discard this upgrade to make ship at range 2 to 3. If you, if you attack that ship in the surround, it has two less defense to Brutal. Okay, so we uh, both fired on Earth. Earth's being fired at by its own uh, fleet defenders. <laughs> we'll say he's trying to stop me from gathering uh, resources or whatever. Uh, anyway, I got two, um, what do you call them, uh, tokens from the planet. He's got two tokens from the planet, and uh, that's where we're at right now. We're just moving forward, shooting at the poor Earth defense people. No way! Okay, uh, San Francisco's been destroyed. Uh, is that where it is? The headquarters? Yeah. Uh, I destroyed the headquarters. I got uh, the shields. Picard uh, got his, I think you got three uh, of the shields for, for the shields things there now. And I got three of the shields plus the San Francisco thing. And now we're just going to worry about each other. Okay, here's where we're at right now. Um, my ship's fired on Cisco. Um, Cisco's galaxy has uh, no shields and the crit is, you can't, what is it? Uh, any, t any maneuver you execute that causes it to overlap either another ship or an obstacle to suffer one extra Yeah, and uh, the Krega got a crit. I forgot to use Koloth's text. I probably didn't even need to take that crit. That was so stupid of me. I forgot to get him to reroll that. Um, but the one crit says um, treat all turn maneuvers as red maneuvers. So he's going to have a hard time turning around and uh, that's where we're at right now. Okay, lots of brutal firing. Um, uh, Clark Terrell's gal or sorry, no, it's Cisco's galaxy is taking lots of hits. He's only got like, one hell point. No, he's got two hell points left. Oh, so he, he's not doing too bad then. Um, the Krega got two mines dropped on it. Uh, lost all its shields now, so he can't cloak. And and, uh, well, yeah, that's, it's really not looking good. But that's where we're at. Uh, so Craig is hurt pretty bad, and one of his galaxy classes were pretty bad. Okay, so his uh, galaxy classes all did three hard reds, and you can see where my ships are. I did a torpedo and uh, just normal disruptors on the, his Enterprise, and his Enterprise now has no shields, and that's uh, where we're at. Okay, uh, <laughs> I did a stupid maneuver. Um, oh, yeah, this is gone. Uh, that was that Galaxy class there. That was uh, Cisco's, I think. The only reason I won was because, look at this, I rolled six uh, evade dice and got uh, five evades. So, um, yeah, I just did something really silly, got in the mix with three Galaxy class ships and uh, got to fire first, took out Cisco, and then survived. Uh, because of some evades and stuff. I still, I guess I still had three hull, but that was a close game. So victory for the Klingons there. What do you mean? Barely. Very, very good, though, Adam. Okay, so um, Klingon ships attacking Earth uh, once again, and here's uh, two more Federation ships. We got uh, the Defiant with Cisco and Quantum Torpedoes and a cloaking device. And we've got uh, Jean-Luc Picard on the Enterprise with uh, Spock and Miles O'Brien and Le Le uh, Leonard McCoy and, uh, what's his name, Montgomery Scott and Photon Torpedoes and Engage. Wow. So, yeah, it's uh, two ships against two ships, and we'll see how this goes. Okay, so the first round, uh, his ships just moved forward one, my ships moved forward one, we cloaked. 
fired on Earth, and we got two of the uh, uh, mission tokens. So here we are right now. Uh, ships are moving up uh, three, so they're moving up a fair bit. My ship's uh, fired again at the uh, Earth headquarters and hit uh, twice more. So my Klingons are just concentrating on Earth, and he's moving. He's closing range. So uh, he moved closer to the planet. Uh, I'm moving away. My ships are cloaked, and. Uh, that's all we're doing right now. Okay, so uh, my Klingon ships did a come about. His uh, Federation ships are still following, coming around the plant, trying to defend Earth from Klingon attacks. Okay, stupidness on my part. I fired at the Defiant, and uh, it just had a whack of re-rolls. And uh, so I was not able to do anything to uh, to take it out. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I just screwed up. I should have fired at the Enterprise, and because he had re rolls, like you wouldn't believe for that defiant. So I fired at it, but I could not hit it, and uh, that's how it goes. Okay, so uh, the Krega lost all its shields. I forgot to use Kolos text many, many times. I keep forgetting to use Kolos text, and uh, I keep paying for it badly, but. That's the way it is right now. So I lost all the shields on Koloth, and I've not heard anything because I keep firing at the Defiant, but the Defiant's got all those re-rolls from the uh, Enterprise. I should have finished off the Enterprise long ago, but it was just stupidity on my part. Okay, all four ships fired uh, photon torpedoes. At the re well, somebody fired photon, uh, quantum torpedoes. Um, both my ships are hit pretty bad. The Corega only has one hit point left, and uh, it has no shields. Um, uh, shields will come back up on the Kronos 1, and uh, yeah, so they all fired and uh, all I did was take three or four shields off the Enterprise, so I didn't really do much at all. Okay, so his ships are maneuvering back, my ship's maneuvering, and that's uh, kind of where we're at right now. Okay, that ends the game right there. Um, the Defiant is lucky. Two crits got through, but it can't take crits. Now, is that just one crit once? Yeah, so, just go down when defending, convert all of your crits to Oh, so all the crits turn to whatever. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so that helped him. He was, it was very, very close. I almost destroyed him, but instead he destroyed the Krega, so he gets the win there. And that's the way the game ends right there. Victory of the Federation.